very good day to you people my name is Mohit and guys today I'm gonna show you how to make uh, flash menu buttons right let's start guys I'll be working with three buttons but uh, you can have four five as many buttons as you want as long as you understand this tutorial the concept uh, go ahead choose uh, go ahead choose as many buttons as you want all right the first thing that I'll that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make sure that the fill color is a pound sign triple three triple three all right then I'm gonna choose the rectangle primitive tool not the rectangle tool all right okay guys notice out here that uh, the corner radius is set to 8 let me set it to 10 all right let me draw a button kind of a shape okay the roundedness is 10 right now because of this value out here okay and then I need to click on this color palette let me drop it down let me go with linear gradient then let me guys zoom on it at 200 percent where is it there you go all right then I'm gonna choose the gradient transform tool click on this shape I'm gonna come to the top right corner I'm gonna rotate it like so and uh, leave it after I have actually rotated it clockwise by 90 degrees now the gradient is top bottom not left to right okay that's the first thing that I made and then I'm gonna get these two parallel lines closer to each other I'm gonna click out here on and then I'm gonna drag the two lines closer to each other let me settle with the this one this yeah that's that's nice that's cool looking nice also this uh, white color dot I'm gonna drag it down a little bit okay now this is even better so you have a nice gradient out here guys very happy with what I see right then guys I'm gonna select this shape like so I'm gonna press F8 on my keyboard making sure that uh, it's a button not a movie clip guys I'm gonna say okay I'm gonna go right in right and uh, then I'm gonna press F6 okay I'm gonna choose the gradient transform tool I'm gonna drag the two lines a little away from each other right this is okay then I'm gonna press F6 uh, once again guys for the down state I'm gonna drag them further away from each other okay as well as I'm gonna take this white circle uh, somewhere uh, towards the roof right ah, I don't like the overstate not happy with the overstate mm. still not happy with the overstate maybe this is good okay let me test it let me go back to the main timeline let me hit control enter on the keyboard guys okay now all the three states uh, look uh, pretty different okay the up the over and the down state okay pretty distinct from each other and that was what I was looking to do you should have a different rollover state and different down state and there shouldn't be a subtle difference but a, a prominent difference a radical difference and I achieved that cool let me go back inside the button by double clicking on it uh, right I'm in the edit mode guys I'm gonna create one more lap okay now this layer I'm gonna call it label I'm gonna label the button all right and in the up state guys I'm gonna hit this text tool all right so uh, the font that I've selected uh, for the label is uh, hand of Sean font size 16 font color white right and then let me give it a label out here I'm gonna call it home all right let me keep it capital H let me drag it in the center of the shape like so right mm, yep cool let me go back to the main timeline and yeah guys I need one more layer I need to have 
in the down state some sound I need a click sound guys so I'm gonna come to the down state out here on layer number three let me call it click itself because I'm gonna use a click sound I'll make sure that the down state is selected I'm gonna press F7 to insert a blank keyframe guys then let me import in a sound onto the stage itself the sound is a click sound guys it's lying on the on the desktop it's a wave sound I'm gonna double click it's actually gone inside the library I'm gonna drag it from the library and uh, in fact I shouldn't have said uh, bring it to the stage I should have directly brought it to the library and then from the library I'm gonna drag it and leave it anywhere on the stage and now guys you can see that uh, in the down state we have this uh, sound out here okay let me go back to the main timeline let me show it to you hit control enter on my keyboard guys when I roll over you see the distinct change when I press you can actually hear the sound as well as see the background change for the button okay so nice very very cool now guys I need two more buttons let me zoom out to 100% alright let me right click on symbol number one say duplicate say ok right click on symbol one copy and say duplicate and say ok and then guys I'm gonna drag it out leave it here drag it out drag symbol one copy two out leave it out here okay this was essential guys and then let me first distribute them properly let me select all three together open up the align panel and let me say space evenly horizontally cool let me select all uh, the three buttons together shift it towards the right a little bit right let me also make sure that the the top edge is aligned now it is right so the buttons are where I actually want them okay let me double click on the middle button okay and let me change the label and this label is right now home I'm gonna call it about alright let me go back to the main timeline similarly let me double click on the third button change the label and this I'm gonna call contact let me go back to the main timeline let me hit control enter to test right so you can actually hear the the click sound you can actually have you can see the three states the up state the over state and the uh, down state okay you can hear the click sound guys and then when it actually comes to the linking you can use code snippets guys we'll keep things very very simple okay so guys let me not give it an instance name let me not do it because uh, if I don't do it then uh, code snippets will uh, do it for me so I'm gonna go to window I'm gonna say uh, code snippets and then guys in the actions folder the first entry is click to go to the web page to a web page I'm gonna double click and automatically it'll select a symbol uh, instance name for me which is button underscore one I'm fine with that. I'm gonna say okay and guys you can actually see that it auto inserts some comments for us which we really don't need and uh, some code for us which we actually need and here it's gonna navigate to a URL which is adobe.com underscore blank the first change that I want to make is instead of saying blank I'll say self okay open it up on this on the same page not a different page on a different page means uh, you, you want to choose blank okay on the same page you need to choose self and then out here uh, is where your website uh, URL goes so instead of adobe.com you, you it could be uh, your website dot com dot org dot net or my website dot net or dot in or whatever alright so how simple it is let me just test the first bu first button then okay so and guys also notice not only did it, did it give it an instance name it actually auto generate this actions layer 
for you where it actually you know keeps or holds the action script cool let me hit control enter to test okay let me hit on this uh, home button and guys you can notice that we have adobe.com opening up right okay and similarly we can uh, link the about and the contact button as well let me do it for the second middle button window code snippets click to go to web page it'll give you that name button underscore two automatically let me say okay and here we go guys you can change the URL out here so I think I'll terminate this tutorial right here guys okay you can change the URL the way you want it you can keep it underscore blank or self usually you will like to keep it self if it's a it's a menu bar we'll keep it self we'll want to open it on the same page all right so guys I hope you like this tutorial you learn something from it and I'll see you very soon with yet another flash and access to three tutorial have a good day guys bye bye peace